The Peer Tool is a spreadsheet application designed to estimate portion sizes in images of advertisements and compare these to national dietary guidelines. Prior to opening the Peer Tool spreadsheet application, a base folder must be set up in the user's home folder of the operating system. For the purpose of this video, I will be using Tool as my home folder. Label the base folder PSEA Tool. Create a subfolder labelled Code. This is where the Peer Tool spreadsheet will be stored. Label a new subfolder Images. And within this, another subfolder and label that Advertising. This is where we store the advertisement images. Please note these need to be a JPEG format. If you now open up the spreadsheet application, you will see that the base folder pathway here matches the folders we have set up. Config is a sheet that holds the configuration values. Select the reset button to update and match the operating system you are using. Then edit the base folder with the file pathway of the spreadsheet application location. The pathways of any subfolders within that base folder will change automatically. Additional subfolders can be created and added if required. Next, we want to move into the fiducial marker database sheet. Enter the dimensions of a common and identifiable object within the images. For example, if your advertisements are on bus shelters, enter a name for the object and the height and width of an actual bus shelter as measured in centimetres. Additional fiduciary markers with known dimensions can be added within this database to suit your data. In the portion size database sheet, enter the name of a food or beverage, the dimensions of the actual item as measured in centimetres, and the number of recommended portions in the item serving size. These portions can be entered for a range of age brackets. Currently the age range covers as young as 2 years old and up to adults 65 years. I have created a database which I will insert. If needed, enter additional food items in new rows or create extra columns if the guidelines for a particular food or beverage apply to a different age range from the ones currently provided. The lookup sheet enhances usability by providing access to drop down options that can be inserted into the various sheets. All of the food items listed in this column are linked to the food and beverage items in the portion size database. When adding items or objects to an existing database, first insert the name into the appropriate lookup column. When you return to the sheet, the new items are automatically included in the list of available options to select from. Alternatively, a new list of drop downs can be created by adding a heading to the next available column then inserting a list of the desired values. Navigate to the sheet you want the drop-down list to appear and click on the appropriate column. In the Data tab at the top of the page, select Data Validation. 
change the allow criteria from any value to list, then click on the source icon and select the list you created in the lookup sheet. Once OK has been selected, the drop down list will appear for each row in that column. In the advertising sheet, the system estimates the size of the food or beverage item and the fiducial marker by positioning markers over the image. To upload the images, select the Verify Advertisements button. An image file will be set. Update button created and the initial marker position set. For each image, select the Update button which will display the image in the update advertisement sheet. The selected image will be displayed with two overlaid markers. The white arrow is to measure the advertised food or beverage item and the yellow for the reference fiducial marker. The user adjusts the numbers in the coordinate table for the relevant marker to move the arrows into the desired position. Select Update Position to view the new marker positionings. Due to the unstandardized distance and angle of images we are using, the marker needs to be placed proximal to each other in the depicted food or beverage item. The Save Position button triggers a coded Save function which will write the coordinates in the advertisement sheet. There is also an option to select Change Image to return to the advertising sheet. In the advertising sheet, you can now see that the new coordinates are written and the size of the arrow has been estimated. In these columns, note whether the arrows were placed to measure the height or width of the respective object. A status will be set for each image. A status will be displayed as yellow if a new image is added, orange if the markers have been partially positioned, green if the marker positioning is complete, or red if the image is unable to be located. This image was previously yellow and has turned green since selecting the save function. We can then add more images to our advertising folder. Once the Update Advertisements button is selected, we can see a status to tell us which images are new and which are complete. If an image is removed, the status will be set to red to show the image cannot be located. The orange status shows that the image is not new but the coordinates have not been set yet. In the scaling sheet, you are estimating the scale of the fiduciary marker size in the image to the actual dimensions 
and then applying the calculated scale to the actual food or beverage size to determine the size of the food or beverage in the advertisement. First, you must enter the photo ID. Then use the lookup list to select the associated fiducio marker and whether the height or width of the fiducio marker was used. Once these values have been selected, the system inserts the actual fiducio marker dimension from the fiducio marker database. This formula is saying if C2 equals height, look up B2, which is the type of fiducio marker in the fiducio marker database. Within this sheet, it is looking up which row has bus shelter as a fiducio marker and which column represents height. The next bit of the formula says in which columns to find these values, and if height is the desired value, then look in the second column of that selection. Zero is used to indicate we want to find an exact match. The number in the corresponding cell is inserted into the scaling portion sheet. Then insert the size of the reference marker, which is the arrow from the advertising sheet. Look up the image name in the advertising sheet and find this in column B to O, and insert the corresponding value for the 14th column. In the advertising sheet, column B has the image name we are locating, and 14 rows across holds the arrow size for the fiducio marker. This value of the cell is inserted into the scaling portion sheet. The scale of the fiduciary marker can be calculated by dividing the reference fiduciary marker size by the actual fiduciary marker measurements. Select the food or beverage item used and whether the height or width of the food was measured using the drop down list provided. Next, insert the actual food or beverage measurement from the portion size database by looking up the dimension used and the food item in the portion size database. It will find the corresponding cell and insert this value into the scaling portion sheet. So for this example, we want to look at height and we want to find the corresponding value for a Big Mac burger. Then insert the size of the advert marker, which is the arrow from the advertising sheet, using a similar formula to before, where we are looking up the image name, but the column of interest has changed from 14 to 13. In this sheet, the 13th column shows the advert size. and it is this value that is inserted into the scaling portion sheet. Using this, calculate the size of the advertised food or beverage by dividing the advert size by the fiducial marker scale. Next, work out the scale of the food or beverage item by dividing the actual food or beverage advert size by the actual size of the food or beverage. This tool is generic and can be used to provide a scale between any identifiable fiducial marker and food or beverage item in an image when the associated dimensions of the actual objects are known. Drag the formulas down to apply to all uploaded images.
In the next sheet, calculate the portions in the advertisement following manipulation to the image size or by applying the scale of the advertisement. First, enter the photo ID. Insert the food item by looking up the image name in the scaling portion sheet and inserting the corresponding value from the seventh column. So we want to look up our photo ID and find the corresponding value in the seventh column, which is the food item. Enter the age brackets of the relevant nutrition guidelines for that food or beverage item. In the portion size database, we can see that the reference portions for a Big Mac come from guidelines for primary and secondary students. Enter these as a list in the image size manipulation sheet. Enter the food or beverage scale calculated in the scaling sheet by looking up the image name and the corresponding value in column 12. So we want to look up our photo ID and in the 12th column we find the scale for that item. This value will be inserted into the image size manipulation sheet. Insert the number of recommended portions for that age group within the actual serving for that food or beverage item from the portion size database. The equations in each of the following columns can be dragged down and applied to each image. However, we'll show blank for the current item as the portion is only available for primary and secondary students. Using the age group listed in column C, this formula is saying if the age cannot be found in the list, then leave the cell blank. If the age group is found, then look up the food item in the portion size database and the corresponding column with the portion for that age group. Look up primary student and Big Mac burger and this value will be inserted into our sheet. Multiply the portion by the scale of the food or beverage item. This equation is saying that if the cell is not equal to a blank value, then multiply the portion by the scale. So we want to times the portion in actual serving found in column K by the food or beverage scale found in column D. Drag the formulas down to apply to all images and age groups. In this sheet, calculate the portions in the advertisement after accounting for the count for the same number of items within the advertisement. First, enter the photo IDs. Then use this to insert the food item from the previous sheet. Then insert the age bracket for that food or beverage item by looking up the photo ID in the image size manipulation sheet and finding the corresponding value in column 3. So for this photo ID, these are our age ranges. Then enter the item count. For example, if there were two burgers in an advertisement, then you would enter a count of two. Using the same formula as before, Say if the age cannot be found in the list, then leave the cell blank. If the age group is found, then look up the food item in the portion size database and the corresponding column with the portion for that age group. Look up the food item in the portion size database and the corresponding value for column 8, which then gets inserted into the sheet. Once inserted, multiply the value by the count by saying if the cell is not equal to a blank value, then multiply the portion by the count, which means multiplying this value by the value in this column. Calculate the total portions in the advertisement by multiplying the portions after image size manipulation by the portions after the item count. First, enter the photo ID. 
Then use this to look up the food item in the scaling portion sheet, the age bracket from the image size manipulation sheet, and the portion count from the portion count sheet. For the portion count, look up the image name and find the corresponding value for the fourth column in the portion count sheet. So for this photo ID, we want to look in the fourth column for the portion count. Again, there are formulas in each of the following columns which can be dragged down. Insert the portions following manipulation to the image size by looking up the image name in the image size manipulation sheet and inserting the value in the 12th column, which is also for the primary student age group. So for our photo ID, we want to come across to the 12th column, which is portions after image size manipulation relative to primary school student recommendations. Multiply this value by the portion count using the same formula as before, where if the cell is not equal to a blank value, then multiply the portion by the count. So we are multiplying the value in this column by the portion count in column D, which gives us the total number of recommended portions depicted in the advertisement for that food or beverage. I'd like to express my thanks to Craig Porter for sharing their developer knowledge and collaboration on the design and development of the tool. Also to my thesis supervisors, Victoria Egley and Rajari Roy for their willingness to impart their expertise and knowledge in dietetics, public health and children's health.